Okay, we're setting out to Holocron in Fort Worth. It's a store all about Star Wars. That's all they have, Star Wars stuff. We watched uh, Rise of Skywalker last night. No spoilers, awesome movie, but I just have the itching to go see some Star Wars toys and maybe pick something up. Let me share this little story about some Star Wars toys that uh, my brother and I had when we were growing up. So we had a whole lot of toys. We had the Millennium Falcon, the Adat, um, all these different ships, and uh, I mean hundreds of figures. I mean we had everything. So you get to a certain age and you think that you're too old for toys. So we got to that point, and uh, so we're like, hey, let's go with Dad to the swap meet, flea market. And so we're like, yeah, let's, let's go do that. And so we have all the toys laid out. We have like a tarp, and all the toys are there. So, you know, you have these old old guys coming by and buying the toys. We're like, wow, that's crazy, these old, old guys buying toys. You know, this was in 19... 85, 86, somewhere around there. And um, so I mean, we, we don't we have no idea what to sell these for. So we're like, the guys offer a certain amount of money. We're like, hey, I have three bucks per, per figure, blah, 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 this and that. Some guy came and bought like a bunch of stuff. We ended up selling everything. We made like 300 bucks. Um, you know, 300 bucks for like 12 year olds and, and a nine year old. It's a lot of money. So we're like pumped, man. We have 300 bucks. And um, so my brother goes to buy some nachos, and uh, he's going to use some of the uh, some of our uh, some of our money that we made. Well, we bring back the nachos, we eat it, blah blah blah, this and that. And then I think I honestly don't remember if it was at home or there. We're like, um, okay, where's the money? I don't have the money. What do you, you don't have the money. Long story short, we, I should say, he lost all our money. He must have just given the lady the whole wad of money or something, or he gave money and something fell out of his pocket. So we're out of Star Wars toys. We don't have anything, and we don't have any of our money. So it was like the worst moment in childhood memory. And so since then, I've been trying to collect, recoup, the toys I know I never will get everything this is like some of the stuff is pretty pricey um, but little by little I'm just buying toys and maybe not even original ones but hey either way I'm gonna have some fun at this place So, check this out. My favorite character of all Star Wars is this guy right here. Okay, so I'm here at Holocron with Rob. He, this is his brainchild. Absolutely. This is his brain. So, can you tell us about how it came to be? How it came to be. Sure. So. Uh, basically, about four or five years ago, um, I started selling things uh, out of my house, started a small business out of my house, uh, more just to make extra money. Um, really loved the toys, anywhere from Visionaries to He-Man to Thundercats, Voltron, Transformers, Star Wars, uh, G.I. Joe. Um, kind of reached a plateau so to speak, uh, and I needed more capital in order okay. to be able to get things to where I wanted to. Um, and it was a completely by chance type situation. Um, I had sold some stuff on Evil Bay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, 
the gentleman that purchased it from me was local and okay. sent me a message and said, hey, I'm local. Uh, do you mind if we just meet up somewhere in Fort Worth area around 7th Street uh, and just kind of exchange? Yeah. And I said, sure, that's fine. Uh, and I had been arguing with investors for about four years at that wow. point, and everybody wanted me to open up over in Dallas. Okay. And um, Dallas is a little saturated with toy stores, okay. and Fort Worth didn't have any of them, and that's really where my heart cool, was. Cool. I knew that Fort Worth needed something, and uh, we talked for about two hours and uh, met up about two weeks later and uh, had dinner and talked for about four or five hours wow. that night. And um, he said, hey, put together what you need. And, uh, you know, I, I worked for about two weeks for free. And uh, at, after that point, he was like, okay, let's do it. What do we need to do? Wow. And that's where we started. Uh, we started looking for a building. And then I started buying. Wow. And um, this is yeah. what we built it's, it to now. It's an amazing store. I'm, like, blown away. Yep. Hey. And we're looking at doing five more. Five uh, more stores? Yep. Wow. We want to open up Austin, Houston. Uh, Tennessee, Chicago, and Phoenix. Wow. So we'll That's see how cool. it goes. Franchise it or are you going to be? No, like... just sole operators. Oh, wow. Yep. That's so cool. So you stole, you sold toys from your home first? Like your yes. own personal stuff? Or no, like so people? I was I started out picking. Okay, cool. Um, and it's it's really funny. I, I tell this story to people all the time. Uh, I would go out to Trader's Village, one of okay. my number one favorite spots to go to. <laughs> Um, and all the guys out there, they work super hard, and a lot of people don't know this, but a lot of those guys come from other states. So they go to um, estate sales, they go to um, garage sales and stuff like that from other states, and then they bring it out to Trader's mm -hmm. Village. Well, I kind of had a, a little circuit that I was working yeah. that I would pick up stuff from, and uh, those guys, I decided one day, I, I had overheard a guy talking about how hungry he was, but it, it sucked because he couldn't leave his booth to go get something to eat. Mm -hmm. I was like, you want to know what? Next time I come out here, I'm going to take care of these guys. So I went to Little Caesars, and I bought 10 pizzas <laughs> and 10 two-liter bottles. And I, they started calling me the Red Wagon Man. Okay. So I put them in a little red flyer wagon, and I pulled them through Trader's Village. And all the guys that I bought from, I took a pizza and a two-liter out to. And a couple of my business cards. And said, hey, when you guys come across stuff, just wow. hit me up. Smart. You know, and yeah. about two weeks after that, my email and my <laughs> my nice. cell phone just started ringing. Nice. Um, you know, and and this this business is really about the relationships that you build with people. Mm -hmm. And you know, I had a guy come in the other day and he said, "Hey, what's the most valuable thing in the store?" And I told him, I said, "The most valuable thing that's not really in the store, but the most valuable thing about this business is the relationships that you build with people. Cool. Because without those relationships." Store you doesn't have exist. Yeah, yeah. I said, you know, I was like, that's what it's really about. It's great. You know, um, and it was the same reason. Uh, you know, we were just on Channel 8 News about uh, we donated one hundred and twenty thousand dollars worth of toys to the Peter Mayhew yes. Foundation. Wow, it's amazing. Yeah, uh, that's and cool. Five Hundred First is distributing those all over the country. Nice. That's really neat. So, yeah, it's really neat to be able to dressed up and get some toys for the kids. That's absolutely. Cool. Well, hey, Rob, thank, thank you for sharing the store. Absolutely, man. man. I love the store. Uh, I'm still going to be looking around. Sure, make yourselves at home. Work. Awesome. If you want anything, just let me know. Awesome, thanks. As you wish. Finished. How long were we here for? An hour and a half, maybe. Anyway, we, we wrapped up our trip here to Holocron. Walked out with Boba Fett here. So uh, we're gonna get in the car and head on home.